Welcome to Real Recap, where we bring you the latest and greatest in movie news and reviews. Today, we're diving into the world of Raya and the Last Dragon Disney animated film that takes us on an epic adventure through the mystical land of Kumandra. So grab your dragon pendants and join us as we recap the key points of this thrilling tale. The movie begins 500 years ago in the prosperous subcontinent of Kumandra, which is ravaged by the Droon, mindless spirits that turn everything in their path to stone. The last surviving dragon, Sisu, is given her sibling's magic, which was placed in a gem, and uses it to blast the Droon away, reviving Kumandra's people but not its dragons. In the present, Chief Benja of the Heart Tribe trains his daughter, young warrior princess Raya, to protect the dragon gem, which is in their possession. He believes Kumandra can be reunited and holds a feast for the leadership of all five tribes. During the feast, Raya befriends Namari, daughter of Chief Virana of the Fang Tribe, who tells her of a legend that says the dragon Sisu still exists and can be summoned through the power of the gem. Raya shows Namari the gem's chamber, believing her to be trustworthy. However, Namari betrays Raya as part of a plot to help Fang steal the gem. The gem is broken into five pieces, and the Droon are released once more, overtaking the land of heart. Benja sacrifices himself to save Raya's life, throwing her in the river before getting turned to stone by the Droon. Six years later, Raya travels across Kumandra searching for Sisu to have her create another gem and banish the Droon once more. She manages to summon her at a shipwreck in Tail, and they resolve to take back the four stolen pieces of the gem, reassemble it, and use it to banish the Droon and restore Raya's father and others who were turned to stone. Raya and Sisu travel across the realm, reclaiming pieces of the gem and making new friends including the young restaurateur Bound from Tail, the baby con artist Little Noi, and her three Angis from Talon, and the warrior Tong from Spine. Namari pursues Raya, hoping to gain the gem shards for the Fang tribe. Each gem shard they acquire blesses Sisu with one of her siblings' magical powers. At Fang, Sisu persuades Raya to propose an alliance to Namari rather than steal the final piece of the gem. As a gesture of trust, Raya returns the pendant Namari gave her years ago. Namari, torn between her responsibility to Fang and her wish to help defeat the Droon, threatens them with a crossbow. Raya attacks with her whip sword when she sees Namari's finger on the trigger, causing the crossbow to fire and kill Sisu. Sisu's death drains away all the water of Kumandra, allowing the Droon to overrun the realm. Furious at Namari's actions, Raya pursues her, and they fight bitterly while Raya's companions use the gem pieces to evacuate the people of Fang. Raya stops when Namari reminds her of her role in Sisu's death due to her inability to trust others. Raya and Namari go to aid the others, and as the Druun gain on her group, Raya remembers how trust allowed Sisu to save the world. She urges the others to unite and reassemble the gem, showing her faith in Namari by handing over her gem piece and allowing the Druun to turn her into stone. Baun, Tong, Noi, and the Angis follow suit and Namari reassembles the gem before the Druun petrify her as well. After the dragon gem is reassembled, a powerful shockwave spreads throughout Kumandra, vanquishing all the Druun and conjuring up a magical rainstorm which revives everyone, alongside all the dragons who later revive Sisu. The group reunites with their lost loved ones, including Raya and her father. The tribes and dragons gather at heart to unify as Kumandra once again. Raya gives a heartfelt speech about the importance of trust and unity, and the need to work together to build a better future for everyone. The scene ends with the tribes and dragons coming together in harmony, symbolizing the restoration of peace and prosperity to Kumandra.
And that's a wrap on our recap of Raya and the Last Dragon. This film reminds us of the importance of trust and unity, even in the face of adversity. We hope you enjoyed this journey through Kumandra as much as we did. Don't forget to like and subscribe to Real Recap for more exciting movie recaps and reviews. 